thinking that storm is gonna get worse or better. Seeing someone do so much good around here, it's refreshing. Vault 63 has lasted this long. No reason to think it won't keep. I'll have to keep an eye on Audrey. I think the stress of everything is getting to her. Good, you're here. The situation has developed and we're short on time. Here's the sit rep. We've discovered that Hugo didn't leave alone. He's taken Cassidy with him. That can only mean one thing. He's going to activate the weather machine already. Bastard. This experiment was just to distract us. He already had all the pieces he needed. There's only one place. He's likely to reach the meteorology sector any minute now. Up at the Hawksbill weather station. Audrey already left to try and stop him, but even with Cassidy, he's gotten too much of a head start. No, wait. We need to discuss what you'll do when you get there. I'll be brief. I need him alive. Of all the red tape and security checks just to get a breath of barely fresh air. Good. We need him breathing if we want to learn more about this affliction. It'd be years of research lost. Thank you. Expect resistance, but remember, bring him in alive. Dismissed. It may not seem like much, but your help has been invaluable to us. Thank you.
Finally, I thought she'd never make it. He's locked me out, but I bought some time by disrupting the startup sequence. It's only a matter of minutes before he gets it up and running again, though. I can't believe it's come to this. I hate him. So fucking much! Yes, we are. For good. He needs to die. My god. Did I really just say that? This is really the only choice he's given me, isn't it? Oh, it's true. Please. He has to die. He can't do this again! You don't understand. Oberlin thinks we can still fix all of this. But we can't. We're out of options. The experiment proves that. If he's left alive, he might break free. He might try this again. He's not just a monster. He's a manipulator. He has to die. It's the only way. Please. We need to end this. Believe me, I know I'm starting to sound like I'm losing it too, but this is the only way. I'll begin unlocking the doors to the top floor. Just make your way there. The area is crawling with Lost. Probably his doing. Be careful. I'll be in touch over the loudspeakers. Please, go. If you break it, you repair it. Attention, Just citizens. focus on the lost while Nuclear I work on the next strike grid. imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. Too sneaky for us. Kill the creatures!
My friend. Schön, dich wiederzusehen. I apologize for putting the wool over your eyes earlier. I needed a suitable distraction to hold their interest. But I should warn you, any attempt to dissuade me will be made in vain. I recommend turning back while you can. Too late? Too late for what? For a solution to our problems? Do you not see? My darling standing right here beside me? She walked here with me, followed my every step. Do you not understand what this means? I know the others wouldn't, but surely you do. Oh, but it has. Before we ever met, even. Months ago, before we ever crossed paths, I stood here with Cassidy, just as we had a decade ago. I ran this machine again, hoping, begging for a solution. And at worst, a release from this solitary life. The results were unexpected, more severe than my first attempt. The storm, you see? The shattering of the land around here? A result of that brave step. This would imply it was a failure. It wasn't. I made great progress in my second attempt. I was able to calm my Cassidy. Suddenly, she responded to my will. She followed my footsteps. She looked me in the eyes again. In that moment of bliss, we fled away back to the atrium. Hand in hand, like schoolchildren, we ran while this devilish machine spun on, sowing destruction. I learned something important about the power I hold. I am the gravitational force they need. I am a vessel for this storm. I can move them. Save them. For now, perhaps. But that's why we must finish this. For months, I've pushed Hilda and Audrey toward the solution. I knew it was in me, the signal to shepherd them. I just needed them to isolate it, decode it, replicate it. To teach our machine to dance to my song, to forge a true bridge between me and our lost children. But truly, the last missing piece was you, my friend. Without your drive, we'd have been stuck. So, before we end this for good, I do want to thank you again for being a catalyst for change. Now, let's finish this, shall we? I have business to attend to. You know nothing. I can see that. Free will. Violence is the only will your ilk understands. On God.
underestimated your strength, it would seem. I suppose this is an unfortunate turn of events for me, isn't it? So that is your solution? To lock me away like some caged animal. So short-sighted. There's another way. You don't have to end this. You can still help me, if only you'd see things my way for a moment. If only you'd see the sparkle in her eyes. There's hope. She is in there. They all are. I can be the bridge. I just need your help this one final time. That pull between us. Every footstep perfectly placed once more. So please, help me. I have no strength to fight. Do what you will then, fool. Good. He's still breathing. Hurry up and power down that machine. We'll come retrieve him when it's safe. I trusted you. I fucking trusted you.
Audrey is trying to fix the weather machine? Hasn't that thing caused enough trouble? Him? You did a hell of a good job back there. I knew you'd do the right thing. You've been a good soldier for us. Glad we put our trust in you. Yep, you're one of the good ones, all right. No doubt about it. I'm just glad we're on the same team. Hey, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone like you. Fine job at that. I'm sure it feels like he got off easy, but I assure you that's not the case. He's sedated for now, and still recovering from that proper ass whooping you provided. But once he wakes up, the time for rest is over. The research begins. He's the key to solving the lost, and we'll see to it that he remains a silent contributor. Couldn't have said it better myself. In the meantime, we'll sort out the mess the sorry SOB left us. So, rest easy. But, uh, look. I can't give you a Medal of Honor. Don't have one to give. But I would, if I could. This goes without saying, but you've more than earned my respect. I hope that means something to you. Don't go turning into a stranger, alright? That's an order. It may take some time before things are in order again, but I'll make sure this place is safe for the people living here. You've been a greater asset than I could have asked for.